Welcome to the mathematics class of Mr. Larry Whittington. Stay tuned as Mr. Whit get on here today and speak to us about fractions. I hope you figure to understand what he gonna teach. Get your ink pen and your pencil out your calculator and get ready to learn something from Mr. Whittington, Fort Bend Tutoring. Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Mr. Witt with Fort Bend Tutoring. Today's tutorial is dividing mixed numbers. Let's take a look at it. In problem number one, we have two and one fourth divided by one and one fifth. Anytime you're dividing or multiplying mixed numbers, you're going to change every single number into fraction notation. So in order to convert this into an improper fraction, please check out our video called Converting Mixed Numbers to Improper Fractions, ladies and gentlemen. I'll put a link right down here, okay? Then the process from that is to multiply the denominator times a whole number. So four times two gives me eight and then add that product to the numerator. So adding eight plus one gives me nine over the denominator which is 4. Then this will be divided by 5 times 1 is 5 plus 1 gives me 6 over that denominator of 5. My next step ladies and gentlemen is to multiply by the reciprocal of the second fraction. That's right the reciprocal aka the flip of the second fraction and ladies and gentlemen it's always the second fraction. So keep that in mind. So we're bringing down that 9 fourths our operation becomes multiplication and then you're multiplying times 5 6 once again the flip of that second fraction so 6 fifths the reciprocal of that is 5 6 you just put the bottom on the top and the top on the bottom alright once I have that go ahead and simplify if you can before you multiply which is my preference I'm gonna look for numbers in the numerator that has something in common with any of the numbers in the denominator I notice that 9 and 6 can both be divided by 3 so 3 goes into 9 three times and 3 goes into 6 twice multiplying straight across you'll have 3 times 5 which is 15 and 4 times 2 which is 8 once we have our result, ladies and gentlemen, remember that we started out our original problem with mixed numbers. So that's what they're expecting us to give them in return. So in mathematics, the general th rule of thumb is whatever format of number they give you in the beginning is the format of the number that you'll be giving them back in the end. So here, I have 15 eighths as an improper fraction. I can use long division to help me convert this improper fraction into a mixed number. 8 won't go into 1, but it will go into 15 once. Then 1 times 8 is 8, and once I subtract, I end up with a remainder of 7. It's this remainder of 7 that will go in our numerator over our divisor, which is 8. So my answer here is 1 and 7 eighths, just like that. Got a red box coming for you. All right. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. That's the answer to problem number one. All right, let's check out some more examples here. In problem number two, we have 63 divided by 5 and 1 fourth. This is a whole number divided by a mixed number. So what I'll be doing with this, ladies and gentlemen, is first of all, rewriting these numbers as fractions. I can place 63 over 1, and then I can convert my mixed number into an improper fraction by multiplying 4 times 5 to give me 20, and then adding 1 to it gives me 21 fourths. From there, I'm going to convert this division problem into a multiplication problem by bringing down my 63 over 1 times the reciprocal of the second fraction. Remember, flip that second fraction, and it'll be 4 over 21 here. All right? I prefer to simplify before I multiply, and I notice that 21 and 63 can both be reduced by 21. 21 will go into itself once, and 21 goes into 63 three times. Multiplying straight across, you have 3 times 4, which is 12. 1 times 1 gives you 1, and then you can just simply simplify this, and 12 over 1 will give me a result of 12. That's it. Let's go ahead and put a red box around that, okay? There you go. That's problem number 2, ladies and gentlemen. Problem number 2. Done. Problem number 3. Yep. We have 3 and 3 eighths divided by 3. Mm -hmm. A mixed number divided by a whole number. So once again, you're going to start by changing all your numbers into fraction notation. So that means I'll be multiplying 8 times 3 to get 24. 24 plus 3 gives me 27 eighths. This is going to be divided by 3 over 1. Once I have this set up, ladies and gentlemen, you're going to go ahead and convert this division problem into multiplication. So I'll have 27 eighths 
times one third. From there, I like to simplify before I multiply, and I do notice that the 27 and the 3 have 3 in common. 3 goes into itself once, and 3 goes into 27 9 times. We'll multiply straight across now. So 9 times 1 is 9, and 8 times 1 is 8. Using long division, I have 8 going into 9. 8 goes into 9 once, and 1 times 8 gives me 8. Subtract, you'll get a 1. So I end up with 1 and 1 eighth as my result, ladies and gentlemen. Done and done. All right. Red boxing it. All right. Just like that, ladies and gentlemen. Let's move on. Problem number 4. In problem number four, I have one and three-fourths divided by a negative two and a half. So, we still want to start by converting our mixed numbers into improper fractions. So, I have four times one is four, plus three gives me seven-fourths. This is being divided by a negative two times two, which is four, plus one, which gives me five. So, I have seven-fourths divided by a negative five-halves. From there, I have seven-fourths times the reciprocal of negative 5 halves, which is negative 2 fifths. Notice how when finding the reciprocal, it still remains negative. You never change the sign when you're finding the reciprocal of a number. So next, I'll be simplifying before I multiply, if possible. I'm noticing that 2 and 4 can both be reduced by 2. So 2 goes into itself once, 2 goes into 4 twice, and then I'll be multiplying this out. A positive times a negative is a negative. 7 times 1 is 7, and then 2 times 5 gives me 10. Once I have this, ladies and gentlemen, my result here is negative 7 tenths and done. That's the answer. All right. Let's move on. Problem number five. I have a negative four and three. F I have a negative four and three eighths divided by two and five six. I know that I'll need to keep this negative on this first value here, so I'll bring that down. But I also need to convert this mixed number into an improper fraction. So eight times four is thirty-two plus three gives me thirty-five. All over the denominator of eight. This is still being divided by. 6 times 2, which is 12, plus 5 gives me 17, 6. Once I have this set up, ladies and gentlemen, remember we're just still dividing fractions, so in order to divide, I'll need to convert this into a multiplication problem by multiplying by the reciprocal of the second fraction. That involves me bringing down that negative 35 eighths, changing my sign into multiplication, and rewriting this fraction as 6 seventeenths, the reciprocal of 17, 6. Then I'm looking to simplify before I multiply. I notice that 6 and 8 can be reduced by 2. So 2 goes into 8 4 times, 2 goes into 6 3 times, and then I'll be multiplying straight across. A negative times a positive is a negative, and then 35 times 3 gives me 105 over 4 times 17, which is 68. From there, ladies and gentlemen, I'll be changing this into a mixed number, bringing over this negative sign, as well as using long division to assist me in converting it. So, 68 goes into 105. It doesn't go into 1, doesn't go into 0, but it goes into 105 one time. Then I have 68 here. I'll be subtracting. That's a 0. That's a 9. That's a 15. That leaves me with 7 here and a 3. So I end up with negative 1 and 37 68s, ladies and gentlemen. Done and done. All right. So that meant that that was the numerator over the divisor of 68 right there. And that's what I brought over here, remembering that the result had to stay negative. Remember when converting, if you start out with a negative value, the end result is also negative as well. All right. That was problem number five, ladies and gentlemen. And that's going to do it for today's lesson on dividing mixed numbers from Fort Bend Tutoring and Mr. Witt, ladies and gentlemen. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And as always, please donate if you're able to. Peace. Oh, Lord. There's so many kind of fractions. They got proper, improper, addings, subtracting, multiplying, dividing, mixed numbers, LCD. Ooh, that's like my TV. Simplifying. And my favorite of all, your least common denominator. <laughs>